I'm going to take a quick look at how to uh, flash ESCs with BL Heli and make configuration changes. It's very easy. Uh, so this is a RotorGeeks V4 ESC. Both the V3 and V4 have this programming lead on it. This is soldered directly onto the programming pads inside the ESC. And you talk to it with this USB interface. Um, this comes with a custom-made cable that fits the servo connector on the ESC. So to get started, you can go to the RotorGeek site and there's a link there to download BL Heli. Download that and install it on your machine. Once you've got it installed, um, you're ready to go. So you're going to need your programmer, your speed controller, and we do have to power the speed controller so you'll need a battery for it. Or if you've already got it installed on a machine, then just plug in your flight battery and that'll be fine. So you can start by plugging in the USB programmer. The programmer then connects to the speed controller, uh, match the colors, so black to black on the short lead. The short lead is the programming lead. Plug those in. And then we need some power to the speed controller. So I've got my battery standing by here. Just make sure you get these wires separated before you apply power if they're hanging loose, because that can uh, blow up your speed controller. All right, so ground and positive. And now we are ready to talk to the speed controller. So we fire up uh, BL Heli. And you should see uh, the device recognized. So this is a Scilabs tool stick that we're using. Uh, you may have to go into this tab, Atmel Scilabs, and select Scilabs tool stick interface. That should show you uh, uh, a number down here of the device. You can then click Connect, and you are now in communication with your ESC. If you wanted to read the setup, click that, and we've read the ESC. We can see that this is running a Turnigy Plush uh, BL Heli version 12.1. That's because I just flashed it. Um, and then you can see the other settings that, uh, that have been configured. If we wanted to do something like change the direction of the motor, uh, because we've soldered wires on and it's spinning the wrong way, we simply go over to motor direction, we click reverse, and then right setup. Now the speed controller will go the other way. Uh, if you wanted to flash a new version, uh, so the earlier versions of this ESC had uh, a different profile on it, something called FVT Sky 3. Um, basically, we've determined that the plush is the best match for it. It's not a plush speed controller, but the config in the plush is, uh, is the best match. So if you're going to do any updating, you click Flash BL Heli, select the uh, ESC that you want from the list. It'll default to the one that's on there, but if you wanted to change, um, so we select the Plush 12A. If you're using the Rotor Geeks 30 amp ESCs, uh, the winning profile for that one is the um, Skywalker 40A, this one right here. But we're using the 12, so we're going to uh, grab the Plush 12. And um, then we click, uh, it defaults to multi, which is what we want, and the latest available version. Click OK. That screen pops up. Are you sure? Yes. And now the ESC will be written. Now, because I had changed the motor direction, it's recognizing that the settings I had are different than the default settings. It's asking me if I want to write the current settings. Um, I would say in most cases, say no. Take the default settings because the current version of BL Heli is very good without any of the tweaking that we uh, used to do before. So. Um, Say no to uh, current settings, and then you will be sitting at the default. So a few other things you might want to play with or change in here. Um, most of this stuff is actually doing pretty well now and to be left alone. Um, uh, you can do motor direction reversing. Uh, it's interesting to take a look at the PPM ranges. You can either set them here, or if you've done a calibration on a machine, you can plug in and see what it calibrated to. Uh, these are the default settings, um, but I usually recommend that you do a calibration on the machine. Uh, you can play with the beacon, which is the thing that beeps when the ESCs have been inactive for a while. Um, 
But for the most part, uh, this version of BL Heli is pretty solid and it doesn't take a lot of tweaking. So I'd say maybe you're reversing motor direction and maybe in the future you're updating to a new version. In any case, when you're done with it all, you simply click disconnect and then it's safe to power off and uh, remove the ESC. And uh, you can test out your changes. That's it. It's very, very simple.